Linda's Pantry and today I'm going to be canning bone broth. Okay, so I've made beef bone broth. I roasted the bones. Um, this is the 72 hour mark today. Uh, I added some acid, some apple cider vinegar. Um, last night I added in six onions to the mix just to make it a little bit richer flavor. Now you could add some other aromatics, but that's what I'm leaving it at. The bones were pretty meaty and um, some were marrow bones, some were neck bones, and they, it, it really is delicious. And I do throw in bay leaves. So the water bath canner is full. Now I'm going to drain and defat, and then I'm gonna fill my jars. I'm gonna process quart jars for 25 minutes, and then I'll probably have to do another round or two because that's a lot of bone broth. All right, guys, are you ready for this? Let's do some candy. It's the first time using the big canner in my new house, and so, yeah, I'm excited. I was gonna can something else today too, but I, I decided against it. I thought, you know, I think I'm just gonna freeze that back and do some freezer banking. And for those of you that want to see another freezer banking idea, let me know in the comment section below. All right, okay, let's get busy. Just to make this more convenient, I'm gonna do all of my canning right here, step by step. So I've got all my stuff set up over here and I'll move the camera when it come, gets to be that time. But right now, I'm gonna strain off um, this broth and I'm using a, um, this is a defat, a defat, I guess. It will defat the broth. I don't mind if there's a little bit at the end, but not, not what it has now. Beef tends to render a lot of fat, and um, if you're gonna use the spigot, I, it plugs pretty quickly with, um, you know, like a bay leaf or whatever. Uh, it would have made it a little bit more convenient, but this is how we're gonna do it. It's, it's gonna be a tedious but well worth the project. So right here I have, and you can see there's quite a bit of fat right there. So um, right here I have my measuring cup and this is going to go really quickly. I've got my canner heating up with a big glug glug of vinegar in it. I had to wash everything. You know, it's been so long since I got to use her. It's been over a year since I got to use my big canner. So today's an awesome day for me. Okay, so when I get down to that part, I don't want that in my, in my stuff. So I'm gonna grab a bowl to put that in. Let's see. Let's grab another measuring cup. We'll just put it in here and then we can discard that at the end. Okay. So I'm gonna keep, keep moving. Okay, so I've got my lids. They've been simmering in a nice pot of water. I still simmer mine, just so you know. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pour, or ladle in, I should say. Um, some of this beautiful bone broth into my jars and then we'll keep moving forward and we'll start a canning session and I'm sure like I said I think I'll probably have a couple batches which is good then I get this put back on the shelf and I don't have to think about it for a while and I've got it to use in soup stews casseroles whatever I see that I would normally use a beef stock or beef broth in and there you go. Inch of headspace, as always. I'm gonna go ahead and grab these hot jars. And I've got my lids over here. And this is, oh, and this is a small mouth. Okay, never mind. I need a small mouth lid. <clears throat> so I'm gonna put that lid down in there so it can get nice and hot when I'm, and I'll move to the next jar. Um, I'm going to need another small mouth <laughs> lid. Getting in a routine is, um, is key to canning. So this, I don't know that I'll always can over here by the sink. Um, most likely it'll be closer to the stove or on the counter. But for today, it works really well. 
So we've got two quarts. We're ready to go. An inch of headspace. And we'll set this bad boy over here. And get ready for round two. Okay, now we need a... Oh yeah, I need more. I need a little bit more. There we go. This one isn't quite to an inch. I don't want to cheat myself. And it, I can see that there's very little fat on there, so that's nice. Wipe the rim of your jars. You know this old routine, right? Okay, so we'll put a nice um, put on here and a ring fingertip tight. The only the only thing that the ring is to do is to hold that on there during the canning process. That's it. So this is going in the canner and I'll be back when I'm ready to start processing. But look at that beautiful golden broth. It is fantastic. And you can taste the bay and the little bit of onion in it. It's really, really good. I've been sipping on it for a couple days. All right, let's get this in the canner. Okay guys, so I've got seven quarts in the canner, plenty more to go. Um, this is gonna be a few runs in this canner, I'm sure. But So I'm gonna put my lid on. The water's hot and I'm, I'm starting the process to heat this up. My elevation right here at my address is 243 feet above sea level. So what that means to me, because when I was in Nevada, I was at almost 5,000 feet. So now I get to go down to a 10 pound weight. Um, and the processing time is still the same. It's 25 minutes with 10 pounds of pressure. So what, what happens now is I, I'm gonna get these lug or these thumb screws down and get everything down. And when it starts venting a steady stream of steam out the pit cock, then I can start a 10 minute timer. Once that's up, I'll put my 10 pound weight on. And when the weight starts dancing, I'll start my timing for 25 minutes. So, okay, so here we go. I'm so excited and I've got plenty of room. I can actually use my microwave, um, which at the old house, I didn't have any clearance. This handle was in the way of that. So um, it's, it's a win-win. All right, guys, I'm super excited. I'm excited for you too, because all of you over and over and over again want to see canning. So. Anyways, this is it. Love it. Okay, I'm gonna get the rest of the bones out of there and kind of work on Okay, the so I have got seven quarts in here and my timing has started. Um, these quarts will, I, I bended the canner for 10 minutes and I put my 10 pound weight on because for my elevation, that's what it is. And they're now processing. And I found, I believe I found the sweet spot on my stove. Um, where I get a jiggle every, you know, a couple jiggles a minute and because um, it was really running pretty hot there for a minute. So you have to find that spot on your stove that works for your canner and each canner is going to be a little bit different. Um, so anyways, we're running right now at about 12 pounds of pressure on the dial gauge and the 10 pound weight is releasing every so often. So anyways, exciting and I have Six more quarts ready to go for the next one. Okay guys, one. so my canner has come down off of pressure and from the time I put it in and locked the thumb screws down to right when this was all down off of pressure was exactly two hours. So you, when you're canning, and that's just for a 25 minute run, when you're canning you definitely have to allot enough time, but um, I have enough time to do a, the second run. I'm super excited and now I also, take and let some steam. I've got lids popping. Um, I let some steam out, plop, prop this up a little bit and just let the canner come down slower so I don't, you know, evacuate all my um, broth out of here. So don't tip your jars because your lids have not sealed down. I've got a Tatler lid here, but it's an easy seal. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this right on the towel. Look how beautiful. Oh, these are pretty. 
pretty pretty. I have missed this. Look how pretty that is. And this is gonna be for all kinds of good meals. And I've got another can of load ready to go in. I only have six more jars, but that's okay. Um, it will, it'll be plenty for me for a, a good long while. And um, I'll use this in all my recipes as well as drinking the bone broth. So there you go. All right, guys. I can't wait to see you next time for another delicious recipe and or mm, another canning session. I hope it inspires you to get, get in your kitchen and do some canning. Do something healthy for your family and put something on the shelf that you know exactly what went in that jar. And there's no questions asked. There's no paragraph as the ingredients. Okay, I'll see you next time for another wonderful recipe. And um, thank you so much for sticking with me and hanging in there during the dry seasons of no canning, but I've got a lot of empty jar boxes and empty jars out there to fill, so we'll get after it.